Hello, this is Scott Winnale with a webcast for Tomorrow's World. In an ironic but predictable twist, now that same-sex marriage is becoming increasingly legal across the United States, homosexual couples are questioning whether they actually want to marry. That's according to an Associated Press article, October 24, 2014. Quote, when gay marriage became legal in Pennsylvania earlier this year, Elissa Goldberg was ready to say I do. Her longtime partner's reaction, however, was, I'm not so sure, unquote. That's from the same article. Ironically, homosexual couples are questioning whether they really want to become legally wed. Even though the majority of U.S. states now allow gay marriage, 30 states so far. A family rights lawyer recently commented, quote, rights come with responsibilities. When you lawfully marry somebody, you have certain obligations to that spouse, unquote. Again, from the AP article. To deal with this reality, an increasing number of gay couples are also writing prenuptial agreements to protect against financial loss in case of a future divorce. And more are choosing not to wed and rather just live together to avoid the commitment of legalized marriage. After the fight over seeking legalized homosexual marriage, is it really surprising many of these individuals lack the character to make a lifelong commitment? It's informative to note that, quote, same-sex couples who live together are at least four times as likely as opposite-sex couples to reject marriage, even when it is available to them, unquote. That's from Christian Post, September 27, 2014. In a related situation, Apple CEO Tim Cook recently wrote an article for Business Week, publicly sharing his homosexuality in the hope of making it easier for other homosexuals struggling in society. In his article, he commented, quote, So let me be clear, I'm proud to be gay, and I consider being gay among the greatest gifts God has given me, unquote. That's Business Week, October 30, 2014. The sad truth is that the God of the Bible did not give Mr. Cook the gift of homosexuality, a sin that God condemns throughout both the Old and New Testaments. This is a clever deception planted by the God of this age, Saint and the Devil, at least according to the God of the Bible. The true God would not motivate a person to live in a way that runs contrary to his will and his laws. God clearly laid out his intent for marriage in the book of Genesis with Adam and Eve, and he reinforced the concept throughout Scripture. He promised that if we would obey his commands, including commands for marriage to be between one man and one woman till death do us part, we would be far more blessed, both individually and as a nation. You can see that in Leviticus 26, verses 1 through 13. The Bible is replete with information on how to have a happy marriage and why living in a romantic relationship outside of God's form of marriage is against God's will. For more information on how to have a really happy marriage, read our booklet, God's Plan for a Happy Marriage. God warned long ago in Isaiah 5.20 that at the end of the age, many would confuse good and evil, replacing one with the other. And we see this trend increasing as time and God's prophecies continue to march on. There's increasing confusion about what is right and what is wrong, increasing societal pressure placed on those who hold values that have been right for thousands of years. The sad truth is that as societal values change and more people do what is right in their own eyes, society becomes less happy, more depressed, and more stressed. God said that he gave his laws in order to bless his people. See the first part of Leviticus 26 and also the first part of Deuteronomy 28. Today, society rejects God's clear ways, labeling them as antiquated, unfair, and unloving. At the same time, we see God's blessings floating away from the once blessed nations who used to follow his ways. Thankfully, this moral confusion will soon end. The God of the Bible teaches that Christ will return and make the crooked ways straight and turn this upside down world right side up. You can learn more about this exciting time, a time when the law of God will go forth from Jerusalem and cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. And you can also learn about the abundant blessings that will follow by reading our exciting booklet, 
the world ahead, what will it be like? Thanks for watching, and for more information, video, and material on biblical news, please visit us on Facebook and tomorrowsworld.org.